Grenada has predominantly grown Malayan nutmegs over the years. However, there has been an issue with sex determination in the early stages of growth. The Ministry of Agriculture has begun the process of identifying the difference post-Hurricane Ivan, but that initiative stopped. The Ministry is now reintroducing epicotel grafting, the method used for detection of male and or female nutmeg plants. Addressing farmers and other personnel during the opening of the plant distribution season, Nigel Gibbs, propagation supervisor, shared some insight. Is with the sex determination, there is a high rate or high percentage of male plants. So we started again last year to work with the protocol and try different things and compliments to Mr. Robert Philbot, um, who was the one straight away took um, the process back to when they did it um, sometime in the 80s and 90s and then post Ivan to establishing some of the protocol that we would put in place. We have taken three approaches to grafting, the epicotyl grafting. One is to use the Malayan as the rootstock because it has a better resistant root system that doesn't lend too easily to topple it. Gibbs identified two varieties that are of special interest to the pharmaceutical industry that the ministry will be placing emphasis on. They are requesting the banda, and this is the one with the wrong seed. It's dark, and the popper nutmeg. And this is the one with the oval-shaped seed. Um, if you take a close look, you will see a striking difference in the morphology or the shape of the seeds. Um, the reason for that because Grenada nutmegs are highly used in the pharmaceutical industry, once the sampling of the, the chemical properties were done, they found that these two varieties were highly preferable based on the chemical properties, the chemical structure for the industry. So in fact, they have emphasized that these are the two varieties we should try and promote and produce the scent to the industry. Gibbs said the Ministry and the Grenada Nutmeg Association are also exploring the polymerose chain reaction or PCR testing for sex determination through collaboration with the St. George's University. Christina John, GBN News.